So, uh, we're going to talk about naming and writing the formulas of binary acids and oxy acids. It's really exciting. Um, so, let's look at four binary acids. You know what? We'll do this. We'll, do it. we'll just leave those two. Now, binary acids, based on all the notes you took and everything, there's a couple key things. It is, first, there's no oxygen present. No oxygen. It would not be a binary acid if it had oxygen, at least for our purposes. At the same time, there are two ions only. So two ions present. Nothing more. That's why it's called binary. <coughs> binary meaning two. Like binary code. It has a one and a zero. It's like how all your computers and stuff run. Or anyway, I can give you more nerdy examples, but I won't. Um, so those are the keys. And if you look at these, you see that there's an H. There's a CL. That's no oxygen, and it's two ions, a positive ion and a negative ion, a positive negative. So as far as writing this out, it's very straightforward and simple. Like, it's really simple. All you need to do, you see you have H. So anytime you have H, when it's binary, you write hydro. So you might even want to make a note, though, that hydro is only written... Did I spell only wrong? Wow. It's only written for binary acids. If you're going to goof up anything, it'll be that. Honestly, like if there's anything you might mess up, it would be that. So, in our example, it's hydro, and then what is our element after it? Chlorine. So, chlorine, you change it, if you, you, know, you look at the notes, you change it from chlorine to chloric. Oh, pardon me, that was the wrong slide. So, you end anything in a binary acid with, with chloric. So, hydro, chloric, and then all you do is write acid at the end. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. You're more than, more than allowed to ask questions, people. I say that all the time. You don't. I do. I already just, knew that. <laughs> Great. What? Yeah, the next one's hydrofluoric. Um, so the reason being, it's binary. It's two things. There's a hydrogen in front. There's always a hydrogen in front for our purposes for oxy or binary acids. Um, but yeah, so that would be hydrofluoric. Why? Because you write hydro, then it's fluoride, which you change. Uh, I think I actually spelled it wrong. I think the U is supposed to come yeah, before the O. Oh. Why aren't you just the, the fount of chemistry knowledge now? Thank you. Chill. All right, so hydrofluoric acid. Now, the only thing, other thing you're going to have to do is be able to go backwards. So instead of writing formula to name, you're going to have to see like something like this, like hydrobromic acid, and you'll be responsible for, let me focus it better. Uh, you'll be responsible for then translating that into a chemical formula. So to do this into a chemical formula, first thing you see, you see hydro. That means it's binary. That means there's no oxygen. Now you see acid, that also means just write an H automatically. What is our second element going to be? It's bromic, so it's going to be bromine. And that's it. That's all you do. That's all we do. That's the homework? For this example, the other type's a little bit more involved. <coughs> and then, like, just to give you one other example, hydroiodic acid would be HI. What? Ask questions. Okay. All right, so that's binary. That's, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to argue with that. The other thing, though, is hydroiodic acid, HI. The next thing we're going to talk about are oxy acids. Yay. Now, uh, let me give you an example of two different oxy acids. So that's this, this is that. Now, what do you notice? You have H in front, and then you have oxygen. Now, the key's here. When you see oxygen, 
that equals oxy acid. That's why we call it an oxy acid, because it has oxygen in it. Um, usually these involve polyatomic ions, almost always. There's going to be a polyatomic ion as the anion. Um, the other thing, you will never, n you're never going to write hydro in front of it. That is by far the easiest mistake, it's really the only thing people get wrong here. Do not write hydro in front of oxy acids. It still has an H in front, but you don't write it out. Okay? So, what you're going to do, let's do HClO3. So you'll translate this into a word, into a, into a name. The way we do it, you have to figure out what is ClO3. Well, you look it up on your ion chart. What is it? It is chlorate. ClO3, negative one charge. So, the thing is, if you look at the notes, it's chlorate. So what are we going to change the ending to? It. So this is, this is how I remember this, because this is one of the few things you're going to have to actually memorize and remember. Uh, whenever you see eight at the end of something, I change it's, it, you change it to ick. Whenever you see it at the end of something for oxy acids, you change it to us. I just remember it by saying like atic itis. Sounds like a disease or something. Atic itis. So eight ick it us. So eight changes to ick, it changes to us. So we have chlorate, so we're going to change that to chloric. So you just rewrite it as chloric, and then you just write acid at the end. And that's it. No, that's the point. By writing acid, you're indicating the H's in front, so you don't need to write hydro. That's why you always put acid at the end of it. Now the second one, ClO2, if you look, is chlorite. So what are we going to call ClO2? Chlorous acid, yes. So, chlorous acid. That's exciting. So, um, the only other thing I want to do is show you how to go the other way now. So, let me show you two common acids that you've probably heard of. Since, you know, whatever. So, let's look at sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Are these still oxy acids? Yes. And the way you know this, you can't tell that they have oxygen in them like immediately just from the name. But what do they not have at the beginning? Hydro. There's no hydro. So right there that tells you that these are oxy acids. That's how you know. So once you identify this, um, here's the here's the translation. What do you think sulfuric what do you think that corresponds to on the polytonic ion chart? Sulfate, definitely. So sulfuric acid translates into sulfate. So, so you'd have SO4. This is just okay. And you have to write down the chart. This is this is the important part. You have to write down the chart. It's negative two. Why? You pay, you, you'll see. This isn't going to be the final thing yet. And then by having acid, what do we always put in front of it? An H, okay. Now, what's the charge on a hydrogen ion? Plus one. So you remember this part where you have to crisscross? So it's H two SO four. You have to you have to balance the charges out. Right in the middle of the video. Two O eight. That'll be that'll be on the, the video going out worldwide here. Yeah. I think this is for two o'clock, so, oh, so thank you. That's cool. So nitric acid. <laughs> um, so for nitric acid, um, if you look, what do you think nitrate or what do you think nitric is? Nitrate. Nitrate. Yeah. So if you look, nitrate is NO three negative one. So you put an H in front. And O3, it's negative one, it's positive one. You crisscross, what does it come out to be? HNO3, and that's it.